Hi guys, Biker Kaz here. Now today I've got a Moto Guzzi V7 Stone, which I've very kindly got from our new bike in Aylesbury. Thank you very much to Mark for organising that for me. Um, and I've just come up to Ashridge and we've just stopped for a coffee and I thought I'd take you for a ride with me so you can see what it's like to ride. So that's Now, when I start it up, you'll feel a twitch. Apparently that's the guzzy twitch. So I'll just... <laughs> oh, I love that. Every time you start it off, woof. I like that. Right. Let's go for a little ride, shall we? So today we've come up to Ashridge, um, just stopped for a coffee and sun's come out which is nice so we thought we'd go for a little ride. It's a very distinctive sound of that B twin. Do you know what? I definitely like a V twin. It's something about them. So this Moto Guzzi is the V seven model and it's 65 bhp uh, with an 853 engine and a top speed of 110. I've got to say this is my first time on a Guzzi so I was really excited to see what they were about and it's such a fun bike to ride. It hasn't got any of your trick suspension, your modes, it's just a good straightforward bike and it's so much fun to ride. It's the noise as well is just <laughs> The seat height on this is fairly low, it's 790. It's a really nice height for me. I'm five foot six. So my feet are not all the way on, they're not planted on the ground, but they're on the ground nicely. Um, it's a really nice riding position, very comfortable. The seat is amazingly comfortable. I like the speedo on this. It says what it needs to say. It tells you what gear you're in, which I, I quite like. And obviously the speedo and the revs. Got a clock on there. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is a fuel gauge, um, which I would like personally. Um, uh, but apparently when you are out of fuel, there'll be a little light that comes on on here tell you got need some fuel and I think the reserve is about 40 miles if I remember that correctly so once that's on you need to start looking for fuel um, but it does have a 20 uh, 21 litre tank I think um, but with a range of 290 miles which is amazing for a, a brand new modern bike, I think that's amazing mileage you can get from a tank of fuel. So you haven't got to fill up that often if you're just out for a, a ride, a normal Sunday morning ride. 
Um, but I, I think that's a really good range to have on a bike. I know my other half bike's only got a range of 120. It does get rather annoying having to keep filling up for petrol every 100 miles. But that's a whole new story. So people have said before about guzzies and how good they are and there's just something about them. So I was really interested to be able to ride one and see for myself what I think. And do you know what? There is definitely something about them. I can see why people love them. They're not... Thank you. Don't get me wrong, they're not the fastest bike out there because, you know, it's not what it's designed for. It's not a sports bike. It's just a really nice retro styling bike and you can have a lot of fun on it. I went for a ride yesterday with the guys, managed to keep up really well, wasn't left behind. Um, but I can see why people like them, they are a real fun bike to ride. It weighs 198 kilos, which is quite light. Uh, so moving it around for me is really good, really nice and really easy. I think the seat's so low as well, so I get my feet on the floor, manoeuvre it about, which is why I like that. And because it's so light, it is quite nimble. And it feels solid, it feels like a solid bike, especially in the corners. <laughs> Doesn't that sound nice? So the bike I've got, the Guzzi, the V7, I've got the black version and there are four colours available so you've got a green a stone and a rather funky orange they had that in the showroom when I picked it up really nice uh, I can see um, I can see that being a popular colour really like the way this bike handles feel very confident with it. Very solid bike. And I find myself riding along with a big grin on my face. It's just such a fun bike to ride. It's got so much character. This has got soul, this bike. Definitely see why people like a guzzy. <laughs> I could do that all day, opening it up. That sound! fun. I'm loving it. I honestly, I wish you could see. Oh, please stop, please stop. Thank you. Um, the grin under my helmet. I just can't stop smiling riding this bike. way it feels. See it just overtaken 
and then I didn't change down for that. Just opened it up. Oh, I'm grinning. I'm grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> oh, I love this. See, it's still doing me overtakes on it. You could possibly go touring on this. It's very comfortable. It's a nice riding position. You're not too bent over. Well, you're not bent over at all, really. Seat's comfortable. I think you could ride it all day. Put your bag on the back. A nice big fuel range you got with that tank. I think it would be a good bike for touring. It's definitely happy to overtake. No slouch. Oh, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> I'm still grinning. <laughs> oh my god. I really need one of these in the garage. It's honestly such fun to ride. I'm really glad I was able to experience the guzzy and see what the fuss is all about because I tell you what, it is definitely a fuss that you need to make aware of. I love it. So I hope you've enjoyed your ride with me guys. Now I'm just going to stop up, try and get a cuppa somewhere. Um, but thank you for coming along with, for me, with me on the, my ride. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my website bikercas.com and please can you subscribe to my channel. That would be absolutely awesome. Thank you um, and I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks guys. Hi guys, so I've stopped on my ride out to give you um, a bit of an up close and personal look of the Moto Guzzi. Um, so you can see just what's putting the grin on my face. So this is um, the Moto Guzzi V7 Stone, which I very kindly got on loan from On Your Bike in Aylesbury. Thank you Mark for organising that, I really appreciate that. Um, now this is my first ride on a Guzzi. Um, so I was really interested to see what the fuss was all about and I'll tell you what I can see what the fuss is about this is such a fun bike to ride it's really solid it's really stable um, and it's just putting such a grin on my face look at those twin exhausts I mean just from behind it looks looks cool I love the styling love the little little detail bits of this bike if you can see there you go so it's a 853cc 65bhp v twin um and it's shaft driven which if i look around there you can just see there so there's no chain um it's six b and it's got a 21 litre tank which will give you a range of 290 miles i mean that's amazing you could definitely go touring on that with this with that tank that's such a good range to have 
Um, the seat height is 780. Um, it's a really nice height, really low. Your feet are planted on the floor, so manoeuvring it in and out of the garage or parking it is really, really easy to do. Um, and it only weighs 198 kilos. So really, really good bike to manoeuvre. Look at that, I just love the colour. So talking of colour, so this is obviously the black version, but there is also a green and a stone version. And then also this funky orange that they brought out. Really nice, I see, saw that in the showroom. Um, really like it, really nice. Um, this sticker on the front here is just a sticker, not, not lacquered. So I would be worried about that in the colder weather. Um, other than that, it's all, it's all right, it's good. Um, top speed of 110. Um, and it's got Brembo disc brakes. Oh, we can see them down there. And uh, Marcosi front forks. So if I just start the, well, I'll just show you the, the clock there so it's really easy to read this clock um, got the indicators um, here so very clear and you do notice them when you've left them on I have to say when you're riding um, tells you what gear you're in obviously your speed and your revs um, clock which is good um, neutral lights are on all the time which is good um, doesn't have a fuel gauge um, I personally like a fuel gauge um, and apparently when you're low on fuel a light will light up here to say you've got got a fine fuel I think it's about 40 miles left if I'm right but I will check that um, I really like this bit on the on here like the guzzy sign um, and it does tell you when you need to shift up the sign comes saying shift gear <laughs> all right um, now it's got on here it's got a mode button so if you can see that so we press the mode button um, it's not actually got modes in the sense it's got road rain sport etc um, but it does tell you what the time is what your average miles per hour is your trip um, so that's the that's the mode button that's what that does so it's basically a menu button um, tells you what your mileage is what your trip is uh, so yeah don't I was I was fooled by that I thought oh it's got rain and road but actually you know my view on modes do we need modes on bikes my Z hasn't got modes and I managed to ride it perfectly without the modes um, so I, I really like the fact that it's old school um, which I, I do personally like um, it's just easy it's simple um, but boy oh boy is it fun to ride I've just ridden here and I tell you what I got off here and I got the biggest grin on my face I just love it not many bikes will do that you get off and I'm still grinning I love it I love that you can open it up it'll overtake nicely it's just a nice solid bike especially in the corners it's nice and stable so um, I'm going to carry on with my ride go and find a cuppa but do yourself a favor and get a test ride on one of these I think you'll be as surprised as I will so don't forget to subscribe to my channel bikercas.com you will see the review on my website um, but thanks guys and I will see you in a bit